bring someone else. We're not for you. Like, just because you can put a thousand bricks on a wall does not make you a good bricklayer. More to the point, who cares? Who cares how many bricks you can lay? Nobody. I do not care who you are, I don't care what you're about, I don't care how long you've been laying bricks, I don't care what level you operate as a bricklayer. You are not laying 1,000 bricks every single day consistently. Don't engage yourself on other people. That's just mine and Billy's take on it. We're not saying we're right, are we, Bills? It is minus six degrees. There's nothing happening on site today. So it's given me an opportunity to do a video on why I think a thousand bricks a day culture is utter rubbish. Most of the people that watch our videos aren't subscribed, so please could you subscribe and like and turn on notifications and stay up to date with what's going on. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna try not to rant. Mm -hmm. Oi, more to the point, who cares? Who cares how many bricks you can lay? It's irrelevant. I get why people put their videos up, they put them up to get people to click on them and whatever else, I understand it. But the reality is, and this is all my experience, right? My experience is that nobody, I do not care who you are, I don't care what you're about, I don't care how long you've been laying bricks, I don't care what level you operate as a bricklayer, you are not laying 1,000 bricks every single day consistently, right? I can mix it with the best of them. I've never been out of my depth as a bricklayer. We are very good, we operate at a very high level. Having said that, I don't lay a thousand bricks a day, all right? If you are on a housing site and they're square boxes, you know, it's loaded out, there's no windows in the side flanks, you might put down a thousand bricks at a push, right? But you are not doing that on, uh, you might do it on the first lift, you are not doing that on joist lift, you are not doing, you might do it on band at a push, I doubt it and you might, sorry, you'll never ever be able to do it on plate lift or uh, gable ends. And if you do, what's the standard saying? Because in all the years I've been laying bricks, I'm a massive believer in there's only a, so many, there's only so many bricks you can lay in a day to, and keep a standard, all right? What we're doing here at Thames Valley Group and Thames Valley Brickwork, we're all about standard, right? All of the people that, that use us come back. And that is not because we're throwing bricks down, trying to hit the thousand bricks a day mark. Like, I honestly don't care. Like, our quota is 500 bricks and 200 blocks. All right, that's what a bricklayer needs to cover, to, to, to lay when they come in and work for us. It's a little bit different. This job's V-jointing, but it, we, we don't want them to lay anywhere near that because as soon as you get towards those number, that number, you, the, the standard of work slips. There's only so many bricks you can lay in a day to a good standard. Fact. Is it cold? Is it cold? When we win jobs, and our client, we, we have communication at the start of a job with our client and we win, we win a project, we openly say to them, if you want loads of numbers on site, slashing, chucking it up, bring someone else. We're not for you. We're not that company. What we can promise is a first class communication, a first class standard, and we're st we are stand-up individuals. What you see is what you get. Me and Christian, either one of us are on site, you know, and, and the consistency is kept all the way through. It's a different business model to, to laying as many as you can on site. I've got no issue with that. I've got no issue with house bashing. It's, I've done it many, many, many times. It's just not how we roll. I don't care who you are. You ain't putting down a thousand bricks every day. Not a chance. Now, one of the reasons that you will struggle to do it, even on the first lift, is openings, all right? If you're on the price, the name of the game is to lay as many bricks as you possibly can and get paid as much as you can, all right? A lot of the time, if you're on price work, you're getting second-hand prices. You're getting prices, the sub is winning it, so say we'd win it and then we'd pass on a second-hand price to you guys where you lay as much as you can. No issue with that at all. I've never been on the price and got a solid measure, all right? Well, by a solid measure, I mean all the way around the building without taking the windows and doors out. A lot of the time, or all of the time actually for, our, for, for me when I was on the price, the windows and doors are out. Now, how are you gonna lay a thousand bricks a day with piers in between the doors, up against the doors, pier in the middle, pier on the front? There's loads of bits and pieces that you've got to do other than laying bricks, all right? If you work out a thousand bricks a day divided by the minutes that you work, you, put, you know, if, if all you were doing was putting a brick on a wall, you'd be able to do it. But there's so many other factors to bricklaying 
other than just laying bricks. Maybe, just maybe, you might be able to do it on something like this. All right, that's a nine inch garden wall. Check out the 3,600 brick video on our YouTube channel, on this channel. We had a pro two profiles either end. We had a line on the front and a line on the back. We'd run the front end and then we'd put the bricks in the back, all right? If you're on garden walls and you're doing both skins at the same time, maybe, just maybe, you might be able to hit a thousand bricks. Again, we're all about standard. You know, if you're if it's rubbed up, we're gonna to want to be topping and tallying and we want plump ups all the way down. It's not just a case of putting a brick on a wall. You ain't doing it on dwarf walls. Not having it. You definitely ain't doing it on radius. No. Now, there's a couple of reasons why this gets my back up. I put a short up on YouTube last week um, about improvers chasing money. The problem you've got is, we've already got a skill shortage, right? There's already a skill shortage in our industry. So what's happening is, people are jumping on the trail from the hod, they come off the hod jumping on the trail, or they're um, doing their apprenticeship, they're doing two years, and then they're, they're chasing money, but not only are they chasing money, they're thinking, let's lay as many bricks as we can and get paid as much as we can. I get it, that's cool. But it's not cool if you haven't honed your skills and learned your craft, right? Any, any young brick lad that's coming through that jumps onto YouTube, they see someone like Charlie Collis, and let's, let's have it right, Charlie's a very, very good brick lad. I don't know him, but I can see that he knows his stuff. I've got no issues with any of that stuff. What I have got an issue with is youngsters coming through thinking that's the benchmark. You know, once, I've, once I can lay a thousand bricks a day, I've made it. In my experience, right, we got through a lot of brick layers last year trying to find good standard, right? Trying to turn a mediocre site brick layer into a bespoke house builder is I'm finding next to impossible. Because what's happening is they're coming through, they're doing two year apprenticeships, or two years as an improver, and then they're jumping on the price and slashing without knowing their job, right? Without, in my, in my opinion, to be a bricklayer and to earn top money, you need to be able to do every aspect of bricklaying. You need to be able to dress damps, you need to be able to do feature work, dentals, you need to be able to do arches and stonework and all of that stuff, all right? Just because you can put a thousand bricks on a wall does not make you a good bricklayer. All right, and I feel like that's the misconception. I feel like a lot of people think, well, I can lay a lot of bricks that makes me a good trail, you know? I had someone ring up for the start last week and said, oh, I'm quick, I'm quick, I'm quick. I was like, whoa, you got the wrong geezer. You know, yes, you need to be able to cover your money and make us a profit, but ultimately, I'm not after someone who slashes and disregards everything else. Again, I'm not aiming that at anybody at all, um, but a lot of lads do a couple of years, jump on site, and then slash like hell, put loads of bricks on a wall, and, and, and that's, that's that's the end of that. And what happens is, as the pinch is coming, there's gonna be a lot of mediocre brick layers out of work. You know, it's, it's one thing being quick, but are you any good? You know, are you fast and neat, and you know your job? If you are, then I'll tip my at you, fair play to you. I stand by what I said. You ain't putting a thousand bricks down a day every single day, it's not possible. Um, the culture just gets my back up a little bit. Um, because what we need in our industry is more good, good bricklayers. All right, we don't need any more mediocre or, or piss poor bricklayers that can lay lots of bricks. All right, my advice to anyone coming through, and we need more bricklayers coming through, right? My advice to anybody coming through would be learn your craft, like do, do four or five years, learn your craft, and then get like speed. Speed comes. Like I was told that from early doors. Like, get your job right, get everything in place. Speed will naturally come as you move through your career and as you start working with other bricklayers and you move to different companies and whatever else. We work with different foremans and like, you'll pick up little tips and tricks and it will speed you up. You know, speed comes, but you know it should never, ever, ever be speed before quality. Ne in my opinion, anyway, never. Um, I appreciate in some situations you can get away with that. Um, in some situations, it doesn't matter. You can get lost on a big site and slash and earn loads of money on the price, and, and, and that's that. Um, we're at the high end end of the market, you know, we build multi million pound houses. We can't get away with that, you know, nor would I want to either. You know, we, we want to set ourselves apart from everybody else, from every other company out there. We want to set ourselves apart. Listen, that's just mine and Billy's take on it. We're not saying we're right, are we, Bills? But you know, 20 years in the game, 20 years laying bricks. I just wanted to stick that out there. Um, don't gauge yourself on other people. 
don't gauge yourself on being super fast and being, you know, yeah, I've, I've made it, I'm quick. There's so much more to bricklaying than just being fast. Like I said at the beginning of this video, please like and subscribe. Um, we really want to grow this into a community of construction workers that want to get ahead. That's all this channel is about. It's about trying to be of service to you guys. I'm not interested in flexing my um, bricklaying muscles to show you how good I am or how many bricks I can lay. I have no interest in that at all. Um, this is genuinely about being of service to you lot. Uh, and for our customers and potential customers to get to know us, um, get to know the lads and get to see how we show up as a business. That was why this channel was started. Um, you'll be able to jump over to our website soon, pop in your email, uh, your email account, uh, get discount codes and newsletters and loads of other cool stuff coming. Um, we're really trying to build this out into something special and something different to what's already out there. Um, it's not just about how many bricks you can put on a wall. You've got to be the nuts.